Hey, what's up guys? All right, so we're gonna change a lawnmower blade today. I'm gonna to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple and easy. A few tools are needed. Uh, you can get it done very quickly. So, but there are some precautions you wanna take. So let's go ahead to my little shed and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, so here we are. We're in front of my mower here. A couple things you wanna do before you start the process. The first thing you wanna do is take your spark plug out, all right? Just disconnect it. You don't have to take it out, just disconnect the wire. Safety precaution. Uh, this is a pull start, so this is not really an issue, but just in case. Uh, the other thing you wanna do is if you have gas in here, you wanna put some kind, of, uh, some kind of sealer on here. So what I'll do is, I always wear gloves. So I have an extra extra glove with me. And I just put it right on top. And then I just screw it on. This way it has some kind of rubber to hold it. These tanks are not really very good with holding any gas out if it tips over. There we go. That way at least it'll slow it down if it doesn't exactly stop it. There we go. Uh, now with my mower, since I put this in the garage from time to time, I have these little brackets that I actually can adjust. So I can take this off and then lift up the arm. This will give me easier access to flip it up. All right, so if yours doesn't do that, you can take the little channel locks and pull this thing out real quick and that way you can then put your arm down. All right, so. Turn it around to the front side so we can see it from there. A little side note. If you, are, or if you are out looking for a new mower, try to get mowers with casters in the front. These casters are all the difference in the world. Trust me, when you're mowing a lawn, these things, when you need to go right, left, they save a lot of effort. Uh, I've used mowers without that kind of caster system, and they're terrible. So pay the extra money, get the casters, and you have a mower you can keep for a long time. You'll be very happy with them. All right, that, let's get uh, let's get to uh, changing the blade. All right, so as you can see here, here's the blade. There's one bolt on it, so I'm going to hit it with some WD-40, and then give it a minute, a minute or two, and then come back and try to break it free. All right, so we're gonna hit the WD-40 on it. Now, you wanna make sure that you see which way the blade is going. So the sharp edge is going, this is going, this is going towards, basically if I was gonna look at the clock, I'm going counterclockwise. So from the front of the mower, it's going counterclockwise. Now, that way when you put the blade back on, you put it the right direction. So it's not going clockwise, it's going counterclockwise. So what I do is I put a piece of fabric, this is a, a painter's a painter's or a mover's rag, you pull it through the hole, and this way when it goes to it, there's a resistance and you can then turn the bolt. So you could use wood, you could use other items, this is something I have very easily, so. And there you go, it's coming off really easily. And as you see, it comes off pretty easily, as in there's a long bolt. And there's your blade. So remember, this thing goes counter counterclockwise. So the edges are going this way, the sharp edge. All right, so that's it. So I got my blade, I'm gonna go to the store, get a new one. As you see, I have no gas leaks on here. So this little 
quick little gasket works well. It was uh, basically vertical. So rubber gloves, always handy to have. When you go to the store, if you don't have any, buy yourself a box of rubber gloves as well. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I have my new blade, which is this one. Picked it up at Home Depot for about $20, so not bad. There's my old blade. So let's go ahead and start the process of putting it back on. Okay, so now we're just gonna put it back on like before in reverse. So I know that it's gonna go counterclockwise. So the sharp end of the blade is going counterclockwise. It goes like so. Let's see. Well, It doesn't matter if screwing it back in. Pretty straightforward. Not much to it. The main thing you want to remember is that you don't want to put the blade on backwards, obviously, because then it won't it won't cut your cut your grass. There we go. Now I'm going to have to put it the other way. This is going to come down so that it's going to hit this area instead. So as soon as I start turning it, the blade will turn. Bear with me because I'm by myself and if I had someone to hold this part up, it'd be a lot easier. There we go. It hits my, my moving rag. Make it tight. I don't have the foot pounds, but it's pretty good. Push it back out of the way. And that's it. You've changed the, the blade for the lawnmower. Okay, guys, we're all done. As you see, it wasn't very difficult. You just needed basically three things. You needed a socket wrench with a 16 millimeter socket. You needed a painter's tarp or a moving blanket. And uh, I would suggest a rubber glove or a Ziploc bag to cover the gas tank. That's it. Flip it up, change the, change the blade, put it back on, put the new one on. Remember to remember which way the blade is going, whether it's counterclockwise or clockwise for, for the sharp, sharp side. Otherwise, you'll be mowing nothing. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I got to do now. I got to start mowing this lawn. It's already about 1 o'clock, and I got to get it done. And, I'm looking forward to it with the new blade. It's going to be nice. Okay, see you in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday.